Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot this, they did this thing here at Disney Springs. We can pre-order, we can pre-order right there and Sarah said we can pre-order. I said we can pre-order. No, Sarah doesn't, Sarah, does, like Sarah just said, she wishes she could appreciate this more. She doesn't know too much about Kingdom Hearts, but I was an avid Kingdom Hearts 1 player. I didn't play too much of Kingdom Hearts 2. But you did play? Look at that. Like that. Um, that was when Oswald returned to the franchise. Wow. Oh, like San Fran Tokyo? It was a paper? Yeah. It was for we. I forgot. I'll think of it. Yeah. Wow. Look at this chair. The Toy Story Keyblade. The original Keyblade. I'm not... That one... I don't know what that one is. It looks zelda -esque, but it wouldn't be. Wow. And there's a big line line, line I think, to like, get in here to actually test it. But you can put it over there. And there's screens all over the place. All over there. I'm late to the game. I never saw those M-I-C-K-E-Y M-O-U-S-Z balloons at Disney Springs. But I'm gonna be honest, or we're at World of Disney. Be honest, I'm the most fascinated with this giant number two pencil. There's the downtown, there's the Disney <laughs> Springs Deer Deli. And uh... We're not gonna get any. We're not gonna get any. Just had chocolate and pop, and I'm just like, I feel kind of sweet out. And uh, I kind of like jinx myself mentally because Sarah is still recovering from her like illness, but she had the bulk of it like last week. And I thought I, I thought I made it. I thought I was in the clear. Like I know I thought for sure I was gonna get sick. And then as the days and, and like week went on, I didn't feel anything at all. But then like two days ago, but really in full force yesterday. I started feeling real sick, like the, the sinus infection -y kind. And then I woke up today and was just like, it's been all up in this. Yesterday it was all nose, today it's like all my eyeballs are gonna blow up and my nose is just a hose. So today we're just gonna relax at Disney Springs. We're gonna go see Spider Spideyverse at the Dolby. The first time we're doing Adobe. Adobe That's why we're all like comfy and yeah. chill. Because we're laying low. I really wish I had a Earl sandwich, holiday sandwich. Ooh. Look at this fun little book. It's for the, the 90s. I feel like this was I sold at the exhibit in New York and they finally brought it here. Uh huh. Well, I have the art of Minnie Mouse. This is all you. <laughs> it's an Ice Cube Mickey and Sarah did an installation. In a live installation in college where it was a bunch of ice, giant ice figures that were melting so it was changing throughout the day. She's an artist. <laughs> Ooh. Suave. Suave. Oh, it's like the hard magic. Oh. That's like the hard magic. Yeah. This is super cool. Something that I may or may not keep in, a funny fact. Did you know that the day we got our Universal annual passes was the anniversary of Walt passing away? You gotta keep that in. It's not <laughs> It's symbolic. not on purpose. We're just accepting and so was Walt. it into our lives. But you need to see this, this shadow box over here. <gasps> yeah. Lord is gonna just cry when she sees this. My best friend Lauren is a a quilter. Like a, a professional quilter. A professional hero it's here. It's limited edition. No, it's 10 of these. An amateur. 2495. 2495. Wow. Wow. And if you can tell me what that quote is from that I just said, I'll send you something in the mail. We're in a race to the movie theater because we want to see every preview in Dobie. But let us know if you've had any luck with these plants. I want to buy one, but I told Sarah right, I'm not going to buy one until we buy a house right? right but you said if we get an apartment in downtown orlando and have a balcony on the 13th floor of the 55 west building There's then we could get one to be doing this. <laughs> welcome to sarah's corner where she does a tutorial on how to tie a shoe peter and i tie shoes differently we do yes you do uh, like and i do you do two bunny ears yeah i'm all about the you single bunny ear and shoes are looking cool wait i just saw stuff in the window this is in front of Marine Enzo's. Look at it, they got merch. What? 
Marie and Enzo's merch. They got merch. We gotta, we gotta go. Yeah. I truly hope we're not building the suspense for nothing, but I'm just like super excited to see Adobe movie because we've never done it. Yeah. Sarah says that tree was there last year. Sarah says it was there last year. I do not recall that tree whatsoever. I have such a good memory that I might be able to find the video, but no promises. But look at this. Woo! That was bright. Ooh. Orbs. Super sleek. So. We absolutely love the movie. I'm nervous. But. I'm scared for Disney. I'm scared for like best animated. Oh at the, yeah, at the Oscars. that could win 2018. Cause what what came out that in 2018 for Disney? Stunning, like insane. Um, well, Wreck It Ralph 2. It would beat Wreck It Ralph. Um, I don't know. There might be other picks. What Pixar came out? I don't know. We'll wait till we're home and think about that. But it for sure could win Best Animation. Yeah. And I don't know the last time like Disney got beat out yeah, on Best Animation. Long time. But it, it it warranted like that would deserve to lose like oh. Disney deserves to lose to that. That was in it pushed the boundaries like Disney doesn't do as often anymore. I know, like it was it had so much. It had matte animation, <laughs> 2D animation, 3D animation, a mixture of it all. Okay, I'm a 2D graphic artist. Simple, very simple, and my work takes a long time. That was a masterpiece. And the compute, the my geeky side of the data of it, like the computing power, how many cores yeah. of a computer had to render that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? There's a little kitten right up to the house of blues. Super cute. Be safe. Have a good night. All right. So for the movie itself, absolutely incredible storyline. Incredible. Twist Easter eggs like Sarah doesn't know the Spider-Man universe as much as I do because my brother was diehard Spider-Man like had comics yeah. of various generations as a huge so like a couple of the bad guys they didn't even talk about a lot like Sarah didn't pick up on who they were but there's an awesome like so many good Easter eggs so many good storylines and twists and way of interpreting it to be different from any other animation or live-action Spider-Man I've ever done if you are just like visual like I think everybody should say it just because it's visually and, and storyline entertaining. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a Spider-Man fanatic to enjoy that. But if you are, if you you I think I want my brother to go see it because I want to I want to hear his opinion because yeah. I think every Spider-Man lover is gonna love it. And of course, it awesome. they kind of hinted at there being future ones. So yeah, I can't wait. So Dis go Disney's and in trouble. Go and see it. Yeah. And go and buy the merchandise and like keep it up. Yeah, because if nobody supports it, they're not going to make more. But I, th I think I, I literally turned my phone on after we got the movie, and the CNN notification came out biggest opening animation opening weekend uh, of December. So I'm wondering to see how it felt in the whole year. But we're going to go home. <laughs> my eyes hurt so bad, that's why I was just touching them like my contacts are just not feeling good. He's not feeling good. Now it's gone up to my headache, like a headache status. Yeah. We're home. Yes. Not too crazy of a vlog, given the circumstances. So one thing we didn't update yet is we did go to our fertility specialist this morning for an update visit on this month's uh, UI process. Mm -hmm. And the tough part about IUI is that it's all up to the timing of my body, of the different days of my cycle. So that's what they do today. So when you're there, it's kind of not good and not bad at the same time because you have to wait until the blood work is back. Like all these tests happen. Yes. So, unfortunately... Well, not bad news. It's not bad. No, because we've always said as long as the doctor says it's still possible for Sarah to get pregnant. Yeah. It's always good news. Right. 
Um, but unfortunately. Unfortunately, we assumed poorly that the timing would be before we would leave on Friday night to go to Chicago. I wouldn't say assume. I'd say hope. Yeah. So I mean, we, we booked an Airbnb for Saturday night. Like, yeah. We but planned for it we, to happen. We planned our best case scenario that we were mm-hmm. hoping for, for that we would leave when I was done with work on Friday. Yes. Um, but with the timing of everything, the procedure will actually have to be Saturday morning. So that means we won't get to leave until Saturday evening. Yes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the procedure, going to come home, rest up, like try and sleep as much as possible. And then get on the road at night. I'd probably be better at that than Sarah, but it's a, which is the better of the situations because I'm uh-huh. going to be the one who's driving. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're going to come home by, and we'll be home by noon on Saturday. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to try to sleep until probably 8 yeah. p.m. And then we're going to drive straight through, which we did not plan on doing, but our family, like our big family Christmas party is on Sunday. And we would like to be there. Yes. We would. But safety is a concern. Yes. But we think this is going to be doable. Mm-hmm. And number one priority is the, IUI. the the you know the family specialist, the infertility specialist, and treatment. So, yeah. you know, it's great that we're still there's still a chance for us to go because we I mean if push came to shove we probably would have, like if it any of the timing was different we we would have still done the IUI like yes. that's our first number mm-hmm. one priority. Right. Um, Especially since, you know, we, we missed last month because of being in Chicago. And then we also had that month where, um, where I had a cyst and it stopped the ability to move forward that month. We've just had setbacks. Yeah. And we waited long enough. Yes. <laughs> so. so the next step is Thursday. Sarah gets her, her shot that I give her. Mm-hmm. And let's see how what I mess up this time. Because the first <laughs> time, the very first time we did it, I accidentally pricked myself with this needle full of like hormones to kickstart a woman to get pregnant the second month we did it um i got was so nervous i was going to stand myself again when i took off the protective thing i bent the needle in half um both times were fine with the needles but let's Mm -hmm. let's hope i don't mess up anything this time you won't so that's just the update so we're going to be we have to figure out if we're going to change our plans when we're going back to florida from chicago But our first part is to do the IUI process and to get to Chicago safely to be with family. Yeah. So it looks like that'll all be happening Sunday afternoon is when we'll finally get to. But we'll probably do some fun live streams on our drive throughout it's, the night. Yeah. Luckily, when, <laughs> when we drive at night, we will be in areas where there's lots of turns and things to keep us awake because... Illinois is very straight. And, and when the sun rises, the it may be when we're going through the Smoky Mountains. Yeah. So, so that'll be cool. So yeah. at the end of the day, it was a weird day because of the fertility specialist in the morning and being sick. Well, the thing is, and then you wait. For yeah, the... you go in the morning and mm-hmm. then you don't find out for like six hours. It's until... nice to find out the same day. Yes, but it's still like six hours mm-hmm. of waiting for the call to come in to see like where levels were, where blood work was, yeah. to know if what they saw is what they hoped to see and what they hoped yeah. to find. So that's a little bit stressful, but we started the morning early with that, and then we're kind of just like, she's recovering from sick, I am sick, had a yeah, relaxed busy night, weekend. had a busy, busy weekend, well, very fun, um, but so yeah, um, we're just getting in the swing of the busy Christmas preparation week. Yes. We're going to watch Elf now, because we didn't watch it in the theaters the other night, and somebody, one of our viewers had messaged us that it's a good night to, to watch Elf. So, Michelle, I'm listening to you and we're watching out. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. 